السلام عليكم ورحمة الله Today إن شاء الله we're going to solve Cambridge exam May June 2021 paper 4 variant 2 Here is the first question The symbol of elements of period 3 in the periodic table are shown Answer the following question about these elements Take care that each element may be used once more than once or not used at all Write the symbol of an element which is malleable This is a very important property of all metals so you can choose here one of the three metals found in period 3 which is sodium, magnesium or aluminium. Which one has only two electrons in its outermost shell? You know that the number of the group represents the number of outer shell electrons. So here two electrons means that uh, this element in group 2 and here it's magnesium. Which one form an oxide which lead to acid rain? Sulfur dioxide from power station lead to acid rain or contribute in acid rain so the answer here will be sulfur which one form an ion with a negative two charge a negative two charge means it accepts two electrons so it is one of the element of group six and here again it's sulfur which one is extracted from an ore called bauxite bauxite is of course the ore of aluminium which one doesn't form an oxide Group 8, which are noble gases, they are unreactive, so they won't form an oxide. The answer here will be argon. Which one form an oxide with a macromolecular structure? We have silicon oxide with a giant covalent macromolecular structure, so the answer will be silicon. Which one form an amphoteric oxide? Amphoteric means it reacts with both acid and bases. Here, in period 3, we have Aluminium is amphoteric oxide. Aluminium oxide and hydroxide can react with both acid and bases. We have other examples for uh, amphoteric oxide like zinc and chromium hydroxides. Which one exists as diatomic molecules? A group 7 elements exist as diatomic molecules. Here we have chlorine. Which one forms a binary compound with hydrogen? Binary means it made from two parts. Binary compound, which is strong acid. All elements of group 7 form strong acids with hydrogen. Hydrogen fluoride, hydrogen chloride, or hydrogen bromide are strong acids. So the answer here for page 3 will be chlorine. Question 2. Silver has an atomic number of 47. Naturally occurring atoms of silver are silver 107 and silver 109 state the name given to atoms of the same element with different nuclear number different nuclear number means it has different number of neutrons so they are isotopes complete the table here to show number of proton neutrons and electron for each silver atom and silver ion the first column here for silver atom and the second for silver ion. For silver atom, number of proton 47, so the number of electron will be exactly the same, 47. To calculate the number of neutron, we have to subtract the atomic number from the mass number, 107 minus 47, it will be 60. And for the second column, it's a positive ion. This means we have one electron less so number of proton will be 47, but the number of electron will be 46. Again, to calculate the number of neutron, we will subtract 109 minus 47. This will be 62. Here, complete the definition of the relative atomic mass. This definition has to be memorized. Relative atomic mass is the average mass of naturally occurring atoms of an element on a scale where carbon-12 atoms has the mass of exactly 12 units. A sample of silver has a relative atomic mass of 108. Did use the percentage of silver 107 present in this sample of silver. Okay, 108 is exactly the average number between 107 and 109, and this means we have exactly the same percentage of the two isotopes, the percentage of Silver isotope 107 is exactly equal to the percentage of silver 109, which is 50%. Silver nitrate is a salt of silver, 
which is made by reacting silver oxide with an acid. Write the formula of the acid which react with silver oxide to form silver nitrate. Here from the name of the salt, we can deduce the name of the acid, which is of course here uh, nitric acid. This is one mark for the correct formula of nitric acid. You are not requested to write uh, the equation. Here uh, I wrote it just for illustration of the, uh, of the reaction. Uh, question C. Aqueous silver nitrate is a colorless solution contains silver ions. Describe what is seen when aqueous silver nitrate is added to aqueous sodium iodide. Here you have to write what you can see. Don't write conclusions. Don't write the name of the precipitate or the formula of the precipitate. Just write your observation. What you can see, what you can see here is a yellow precipitate. Write the ionic equation for the reaction between aqueous silver nitrate and aqueous sodium iodide. Here I write the equation, the full equation. To know how can we write the ionic equation. To write the ionic equation, we have to remove the spectator ion, which is the ions that enter and exit the reaction unchanged. Enter then and exit the reaction with the same status. Here, a silver nitrate aqueous react with sodium iodide aqueous to produce sodium nitrate aqueous and silver iodide solid. So here, nitrate ions enter the reaction and exit the reaction in aqueous state, we will remove it. And also sodium ions enter the reaction in aqueous state and exit the reaction in aqueous state. But we looking for the uh, silver ion and iodide ion, they enter the reaction in aqueous state and exit as solid. So these, these are only the ions that will be in the ionic equation. We will write silver ion plus iodide ions it will give you the product, which is silver iodide, which here is a yellow precipitate form it. So you will have here the complete ionic equation. One mark for the reactant, which are positive silver ion and negative iodide ion. One mark for the product, which is silver iodide. And the third mark here will be for the state symbols, aqueous silver ion, aqueous iodide ion, and S for the solid yellow precipitate silver iodide. D. In the positive test for aqueous nitrate ion, aqueous sodium hydroxide and other substances are warmed with the nitrate ion. This is how can we test for nitrate ion? So of course we have to know the reagent. Reagent used is aluminium foil, and the gas form it is ammonia. When silver nitrate is exposed to sunlight, silver is formed. Name the type of the reaction which need light to make it happen. Reaction, which you need light, is a photochemical reaction. Question F. Member of one homologous series only react with chlorine in the presence of sunlight. This homologous series is alkene. alkane. Of course, here it's alkane, but he needs the name of the member. So we can write methane. Name two products that formed when compound I react with chlorine. We can write chloromethane, dichloromethane, or trichloromethane. Any product here is correct because this reaction continued until all the hydrogen are substituted with halogen. The second product here is hydrogen chloride. Third question. Sodium hydrogen carbonate is found in baking powder. When sodium hydrogen carbonate is heated, it forms three products sodium carbonate, water, and carbon dioxide. Name the type of the reaction that takes place when sodium hydrogen carbonate reacts in this way. Sodium hydrogen carbonate heated and break down into three products, so this reaction is thermal decomposition. Calculate the volume of carbon dioxide formed at room temperature and pressure when 12.6 sodium bicarbonate is heated. Here, determine the mass of one mole for sodium hydrogen carbonate. This is the molar mass that can be calculated by uh, adding the atomic mass for all uh, the elements here, sodium 23, hydrogen 1, carbon 12, and oxygen 16. The molar mass will be 84. Calculate the number of moles of sodium hydrogen carbonate. The molar mass is the mass 
sorry, number of moles is uh, mass divide the molar mass. So it will be here 12.6 divide 84. This will be 0.15 moles. Determine the number of moles of carbon dioxide. Number of moles of carbon dioxide here we have to return back to the equation. To know the ratio between number of moles of the reactant and the product. We can see the ratio is 2 to 1. 2 moles of sodium hydrogen carbonate decomposed to form 1 mole of carbon dioxide. So number of moles of carbon dioxide is half the number of moles of sodium hydrogen carbonate. We can divide this number by 2 to get the number of moles of carbon dioxide. It will be 0 0.075. Calculate the volume of carbon dioxide formed at room temperature and pressure. Volume of carbon dioxide is number of moles of carbon dioxide divide the molar mass, the molar volume of any gas, which is 24. So dividing the number of moles, which is 0 0.075 by 24, we will get 108 decimeter cube. Question C. Lime water is aqueous calcium hydroxide. Carbon dioxide turns lime water milky because white precipitate is formed. Calcium hydroxide formula is CaOH2. Here you have two marks. One mark for the correct formula of calcium hydroxide and the other mark for the white precipitate formed when, uh, when we put carbon dioxide to the calcium hydroxide. It's calcium carbonate formed. This is the other mark. Question four. Student carry out an electrolysis experiment using the apparatus shown. Here we are making electrolysis for dilute aqueous sodium chloride. State the name given to any solution which undergoes electrolysis. Here it's of course electrolyte. Hydroxide ion are discharged at the anode. Complete the ionic half equation for this reaction. Here, hydroxide ions losing four electrons. So we need four hydroxide ions. Okay, here you have two marks. One mark for the balance, you have to write four here. And the product, one mark for the product, which is water. You have to balance it, of course. Explain how the ionic half equation shows that hydroxide ions are being oxidized. Hydroxide ions are being oxidized because they lose four electrons or they are losing electrons. We know that oxidation means loss of electrons. Describe what the students observe at the cathode. Cathode is a negative electrode. Here, what you can observe is what you can see. Don't write conclusion. Okay, okay we will write here negative electrode will accept protons. So we can see a uh, phasing of a gas here, which is hydrogen gas. Write the ionic half equation for the reaction at the cathode. We know that proton can accept two electrons to form hydrogen gas. So the observation here will only phasing or a bubbling of gas. Question E. The student repeats this experiment using concentrated aqueous sodium chloride. Describe what you can observe at the cathode. At the cathode, you will have the same result here, fizzing of the gas, which is hydrogen. But at the anode here, we have different observation, which is a green gas here, formed at the anode. The student add litmus solution after the electrolysis of concentrated aqueous sodium chloride. Here, the observation changing the color of the solution litmus change into blue and the reason is the formation of sodium hydroxide to understand what happened here in the electrolysis of concentrated aqueous sodium chloride we have a little um, uh, explanation here between the difference between uh, electrolysis of dilute aqueous sodium chloride and concentrated aqueous sodium chloride what happened at the cathode it is a negative electrode we have two positive ions sodium ion and Brotons. Sodium is a highly reactive metal which tend to stay as ion and not discharged. So at the cathode we only have one positive ions which are proton. It can accept 
accept electron from the cathode and discharge as hydrogen gas. This is the same what happened in case of concentrated aqueous sodium chloride because sodium ion tend to stay as ions in the solution. It will not discharge. So the only gas will charge, discharge here will be hydrogen. And at the anode, in case of dilute aqueous sodium chloride, we have two ions, chloride ion and hydroxide ions. But chloride ion here in case of diluted solution present in low concentration. So hydroxide ions can radially give electron and discharge it as oxygen gas at the anode. But in case of concentrated aqueous sodium chloride solution, chloride ion here present in high concentration, so it can give electrons more radially than the hydroxide ion and discharge it as the chlorine gas. So here at the anode, in case of concentrated sodium chloride, we can see discharge of a green gas, which is chlorine. And hydroxide ion here will not discharge it. In this case, in case of concentrated aqueous sodium chloride, chloride ion will discharge it at the anode and protons will discharge it at the cathode, leaving sodium ion and hydroxide ion in the solution. So the electrolyte will change into sodium hydroxide. This is a, a base sodium hydroxide or the alkali sodium hydroxide. This is the reason why the latmus color changed into blue here because the electrolyte changed into sodium hydroxide. So here the difference will be at the anode in case of electrolysis of concentrated aqueous sodium chloride we have a different result at a different observation at the anode and a different electrolyte which is formed here sodium hydroxide. Here we come to the end of part one of this paper. Hope this video is useful to you all. Thank you for watching. Comment below if you have any question. Please like and subscribe for more videos.